I greet you all in the wonderful name of Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. My name is Sakai Chuandamira. From 25 November to 10 December 2021, we will be running a 16 days of activism campaign under End It Now. End It Now is a global initiative which seeks to raise awareness and advocate for the end of violence around the world. It aims to mobilize Seventh-day Adventists around the world and invites other community groups to join in to resolve this worldwide issue. End It Now is the most important stand the Seventh-day Adventist Church has ever taken regarding violence against men, women and children. Through this campaign, more than 15 million Adventist church members, men, women and children are expected to create a global movement that will be mobilized within their own communities, where each person will actively work to create awareness and share solutions on ways to end this global problem. As the church, we have no option but to say no to violence. That is why today, I want to encourage you to take three key steps, which essentially are, we need to prepare, prevent and protect. Today, I'm grateful for safe places such as Sozo. Sozo has been a blessing for women like me who have experienced gender-based violence. In particular, I'm grateful to both the board of directors as well as the inspirational team, which includes experts, lawyers, counselors, police officials, and doctors who really play a pivotal role in trying to address gender-based violence, but have also been pillars of hope, strength, inspiration, and have also been able to counsel us as we begin our journeys on recovery. Genesis 6 verse 13 to 14 reads, So God said to Noah, I have decided to destroy all living creatures, for they have filled the earth with violence. Yes, I will wipe them all out, along with the earth. Ladies and gentlemen, God detests violence. In fact, in the Bible, all violence is considered as an offense against God and against humanity. Scripture is full of condemnations of violence. Time and again, we have seen that violence is associated with wickedness and is condemned as detestable to the Lord. And this includes gender-based violence as well as abuse, any form of abuse. Regardless of your circumstances, violence shows absolutely no favoritism towards anyone. It doesn't matter what your gender, age, race, education, income level, religion, sexual orientation or marital status is. Domestic violence can show its ugly head and it's crippling us in the churches. That is why today I, as a daughter of the Most High God, am grateful for Sozo. Sozo is the Greek biblical word defining wholeness of body, soul, and mind. Sozo is a non-profit ministry which is dedicated to providing a safe space for women in the professional sector experiencing the initial partner of physical and emotional abuse. Sozo is not a shelter, but offers their guests up to 48 hours of safety in a secured environment, assisted by professionals. The wonderful team at Sozo has been committed to providing their guests with what is vital in taking their first steps towards recovery. Thank you very much, Sozo, for being a blessing to many women such as me. I am inspired by my journey that I went through, especially when I came into contact with the wonderful team at Sozo. Also, the team has been able to empower and equip all the women that have gone through the Sozo doors 
to go through some of the most challenging moments. In particular, I recall attending Sozo and receiving some counseling sessions from Auntie Gail and Dr. Ntsiki. This really helped me put things into perspective, but I also got to start my recovery journey. I recall how some days I found it hard to digest my painful ordeal, but having the reassurance that I will be speaking to God-fearing ladies who can counsel me, who can pray with me and share the word with me, gave me a lot of hope and strength to be able to continue with life. As someone who has been able to go and share my testimony and counsel some of the ladies at Sozo, I've seen how lives have been changed. I've seen spiritual growth. I've seen how ladies, professional ladies who were scared for their lives, who didn't know what to do, who didn't know what the next step, who didn't know how to report a matter, have been able to be helped. Some arrived with no hope. But most importantly, they found the hope. And most importantly, they tasted the goodness of the Lord. So thank you to Sozo and thank you to your team. Today, I want to ask you, what role are you playing to deal with this ordeal, this pandemic, gender-based violence? Each and every one of us has a specific role to play, including the church we need to end it now not tomorrow not next year not in a hundred years to come but now so let us pray about it let us speak out about it let us use our talents to reach out to those who are experiencing it let us educate each other and the congregation and may our churches become safe places for women and children as well as men who are experiencing this. God bless you.